today's video I'm going to go over why it is so important that if you currently own your home and you're thinking about refinancing your existing mortgage balance but you're not sure because possibly you did something let's just say six seven or eight months ago why it is so important that you reconsider and how time is of the essence so thank you again so much for watching this video and if you're new here I would ask you to please consider subscribing and if you've already subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And again, I hope this video brings you a lot of value. I hope you get something out of it to where it can not only help you, but some of your friends and your family or your loved ones. Thank you very much. Okay, so on today's video, like I said, I wanna go over some key factors. A lot of people think because they refinance, let's just say six, seven, or eight months ago, that they shouldn't do anything. And normally the reasons behind that are because they don't wanna tack on to their loan. And a lot of times it's a misconception on some of the fees that are involved in a home loan. And I can understand exactly how people feel. And you see, let's just say, for example, you see your balance at 400,000, and then all of a sudden it goes up uh, above that. Anything above that, you consider right away, that's a fee. But you have to understand, the reason people do refinance, even though their balance goes higher, is for the simple fact that if you currently have a loan, where you're going to drop the interest rate along with the payment, you have to look at it over time. And that's where the true savings comes into effect. For example, let's just say that you're saving, uh, let's just say 400, $300 a month. In the next 120 months, 10 years, next 20 years, 240 months, you're going to be seeing a large difference on the amount of interest that you pay with your new loan versus the old loan if you decided to refinance. So a lot of times it could be very scary because you think that you're going backwards, but the reality is, is whenever you have a home loan, like I tell a lot of people, you really have to make your home also work for you. So not only are you putting in money into your home loan every month, which goes towards the principal and interest. But I also want to emphasize that you have to make the right decisions in order to pay as little back as possible towards the interest and as much as possible towards the principal balance. What that's going to do is it's really going to open up the doors in the future. It's going to give you more opportunity if you're thinking about either taking some cash out, if you're thinking about using it for home improvement, or you wanna sell the home and you're going to use that money towards a bigger house or you need to downsize. And a lot of times people feel because they have already a really good rate and they feel that they've already done it, let's just say, like I said, seven months ago, they feel that it wouldn't be a good idea to do it over again. And I'm not saying that you're wrong. What I'm saying is depending upon exactly when you refinance and what rate you received will ultimately determine if it makes sense or not. If you only focus on your balance and you don't want to refinance because your balance goes higher, if that were the case, then really nobody would refinance. So what you need to focus on is how much not only do you save on your monthly savings, but how much interest you save throughout the next five years, 60 months, 10 years, 120 months, or the next 15 or 20 years. And a lot of times, a lot of banks they want you to not refinance. If you notice that if you try to refinance, all of a sudden everyone's trying to call you, especially your current lender. But where were they before when you didn't know about the market and shouldn't they have called you and say, hey, we want you to pay less in interest? 
they don't do that. Now, if you're watching this video or if you have any family members that, that own a house that are considering refinancing or even considering buying, you have to know what are the benefits to buying and what is it if you don't buy, how ultimately can it affect you? If you are holding back because you're thinking about selling, that's another key factor that I always go over. If you don't end up selling, then that whole time you wasted, let's just say 36 months, three years, or you wait for five years, you wasted that whole time that you could have been paying not only less a month, but the amount of money that you pay back to the bank. And the reason that's so important is because there's no way if someone were to say to you, would you rather give the money back to the bank or would you rather give it to your family or your loved ones or even use it for yourself? When you are refinancing, you just don't want to assume that it doesn't make sense right now. You don't want to assume that you don't qualify because what happens is you're ultimately feel like you're doing the right thing, that you're being patient, that you're paying every month. But the reality is the longer you stay in that loan, when you could have got a lower rate and pay less in interest, you're actually giving the bank back more of your hard earned money. For example, let's just say you feel you don't qualify because your income has gone lower, but you have a ton of debt and bills. Well, another good idea is to lower your overall payment. There's no guarantee that the market is always going to stay the same. Even if you refinance, let's just say six months ago, seven months ago or longer, even if you think that you don't qualify for a lower rate in payment, I want to definitely tell you that right now would be the best time to look either with your current lender or another lender. If you have any questions, of course, you can give me a call. I hope this video was able to help you if you are considering refinancing your home or even if you're thinking about purchasing right now, the market is really good. And if you haven't looked into it, I definitely recommend to look into it. Even if you think that right now you don't qualify, but you know that if you did qualify, it's gonna benefit you and your family. I highly recommend that you look into it. So thank you so much for watching this video. And if you've already subscribed, thank you so much to everyone out there who has subscribed to my channel. And if you're new here, I would ask you to please consider uh, subscribing to my channel where I'll have other videos that go over the market today and other videos that really go over some questions that a lot of people have if you're looking either to refinance your just a mortgage or you're thinking about buying a home or even thinking about selling. Thank you so much for watching this video. Angel Medina, your lifelong mortgage advisor. Thank you.